week 15 of the NFL. And up next, we'll get a look at Patrick Mahomes. He's been sensational as he leads the league in touchdown passes. It's the Chiefs and the Titans on Thursday night primetime. From one of the loudest venues in the National Football League, you get a look there at GHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Tonight, Week 15 begins with a great Thursday night matchup as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talked about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time. So the Titans set to go to work for the first time. And they'll be led out by a guy who has a couple years under his belt in the NFL, their third-year quarterback. After seeing what he did last week, throwing four touchdown passes, I had to go to my thesaurus to try and come up with some great words for what he did. I'm still coming up blank. He was scintillating. I'm, I'm going simple. I don't, I don't have your thesaurus. I'm going dynamite. He was dynamite. I'll take it. Evades the tackler, and now some space. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. He has just eclipsed the 13,000-yard mark for his career. What a career it's been. Incredible running the football. They keep it with Henry on first down. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. First down, Titans gain of 12. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. A throw over the middle, taken in. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. And the Titans are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Boy, no problems getting down the field here on this opening drive. They've looked really sharp in the early going, and they've come up with some big plays already. Here's another that's going to set up first and goal. Dancing to his left. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Henry up the middle, and he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Derrick Henry. That's career touchdown number 131, and it ties him with Chris Carter for number eight on the all-time list. And the Titans are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And listen, these Thursday night games, they're tough on the body. You just played on Sunday, 72 hours later. Hey, it's game day again. But I have to think a Thursday night game in September much more preferable than a Thursday nighter in December, no? Well, there's no doubt about it. You mentioned how tough it is on the body. How about the mind? You're already tired, fatigued, right? Trying to battle for playoff spots. And here you have the quick turnaround. Now, the flip side is, if you take care of business, win that Thursday nighter, you go into a mini open week. Gives you a few extra days to heal up the body and the mind before you play your next game. 
They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. The play fake. Cobb rolling to his right. And he is caught. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly now the red challenge flag makes an appearance as Andy Reid wants a second opinion. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. First and ten. Cobb. This is intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. And they're going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. So, this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but getting the ball away right here in the opening quarter. All of a sudden, we've got a new ball game back to level after that interception that he threw on the on the last drive. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. You talk about this Chiefs defense. Against the pass, they've had some issues. Ranked number 23 in the NFL right now. And when you're getting ready to face the number one overall offense in the NFL, it does not matter where you rank defensively because you got your hands full. You don't know what you're going to face, but you know that that's a strong unit that you're getting ready for. He's across midfield. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll try the right side with Henry. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Flush to his right. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. A great play there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Titans have taken the lead. Their first passing touchdown of the ball game, and they go to the big tight end in those sure hands, and he provides the score. Certainly looked like they were focused on taking away other weapons, and he certainly made them regret that because he found the soft spot, ended up taking it to the end zone. Nice throw, too, to complete the play. touchdown pass number 30 on the year last time he had the ball and we'll look to build on things here first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Cobb. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. 
And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. A first down carry for Henry. There's the stiff arm. Oh, again. 62 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Back to throw. Cobb. Escaping the pressure right. And throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Martin, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Looking to throw. Cobb. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 25-yard line. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. And he's going to use his legs here. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. offense heading back out there. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, is that interception? He didn't... They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? To throw on second down, Cobb. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They certainly thought he had an open work beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Operating from the gun, Cobb. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. 
And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Going up top. And this is caught. And it's a Titans touchdown. Russell Gage, 40 yards. And the Titans are able to stretch out their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his second of this first half, as he'll try again on first down here. Let's go now. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we reach halftime here with the visiting Titans taking the lead into intermission. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Man, where has the season gone? We're into week 15 now. So let's give everybody a look at what's coming up here on what should be a very interesting weekend of football. As far as the early games go, we'll be watching that one in Houston. The Texans in for a fight as they'll square off with the visiting Arizona Cardinals. In the late afternoon games, all eyes will be on Las Vegas, a glitzy matchup there, where it'll be the Raiders taking on the New York Jets. And then finally, a good one on Sunday Night Football between the Indianapolis Colts and the Miami Dolphins. It was Derrick Henry, as he normally does, making his impact felt in that first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 85 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. They'll run it again with Henry. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down at six now from the 42. Operating from the gun. Cobb. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Back to throw. Cobb. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Oh, that's a nice job of clearing space in the middle of the field for your tight end. He's going to start behind the line and run an angle route, hoping to kind of get lost in the middle of the field. And this is put right on him, and he's able to pick up the first down. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory, right at the 40. Looking to throw. Cobb. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 
Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. Off play action. Cobb. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So a holding penalty, and that'll send him backwards. You know they're trying not to do that. I mean, we know that, right? We talk to them all the time. But sometimes the defensive guys just put you in awkward situations, and you get caught grabbing their jerseys. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense. Exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. Now we've got movement up front. I think this is going to be on the Titans. Ball start. Offense. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's going to look downfield for Henry. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run for... Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And a nice gain of 21 yards. With that grab, he now sits at 200 for his career, and maybe more importantly, a first down. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Curtis Samuel, 51 yards. And the Titans strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one possession.
possession game. This one not fully over yet. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. 104 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. This play still live. He faked the spike. Going to throw it. Room here to run. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. When you're on your own one-yard line like they were, oftentimes you're thinking just run on any down, get some space. for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and 10. And a busy night for Henry continues. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. Looking to throw on second down. Cobb, they set up the screen for Henry. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first. And they are knocking on the door of field goal range now. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Inside handoff, Henry. Gets through and now an opening. Still on his feet. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry. Hitting double digits with his 10th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Titans answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Boy, missed tackles continuing to plague this defense, and they surrender another big play and a touchdown here. Yeah, by my count, at least two guys had shots at it, maybe even more than that. But this defense, they've looked out of sorts all game long. That was definitely not one of their better efforts right there. And the Titans getting set to go. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. 
So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he is going to have a Titans first down, and that should just about do it. The Titans go victory formation as they take an aim. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. <laughs> So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And of course, this is a win they're going to hang their hat on. They go on the road and defeat the defending Super Bowl champs. Partner, they came, they saw, <laughs> they conquered. They conquered. But before all that happened with the conquering part, they believed. They thought it all week. It was evident when we talked to them before the ball game that they thought they could get this done, and they knew exactly how, had a plan, formulated it, and then executed it. That's a big-time win to take down the defending Super Bowl champs. So for the Titans, it's a 10th win of the year now as they move to 10-4, and four, and they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, they'll drop to 9-5 and five on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.